soldiers. The evidence is all too clear that Cal Al and Lady Zara did willingly enter into a cynical pact to delude the people of New Krypton and place Zara illegally on the throne. That's a lie. Everything I did was for the good of New Krypton. And who would you be to judge what is good for New Krypton? My lords, Cal Al was raised on Earth. He's a virtual half-breed. A wash in the primitive teachings of these simple rustics. You watch your mouth. He's the best son we could possibly hope for. No doubt. My lords, to anoint Cal Al our ruler is to place an Earthling on the throne. I am proud of how I was raised. If I knew nothing of Krypton, it's because I was sent here as a baby. Your heritage was preserved for you in the ship you arrived in. Writings, holograms... In a language that I didn't know. You mean a language of no interest to an Earth child? The same child who would grow to be a man and give his heart to an Earth woman? Do you deny that you're in love with this creature? That you had her smuggled into the palace as your concubine? That you planned to marry her? In direct violation of Kryptonian law? Silence! Silence! There will be order to these proceedings. I left her on Earth. I left her to bring peace to your planet. Did you now? And wasn't that a ruse, too? I come back. Mm, you did kiss me. <laughs> mm. Mm. Don't ever leave me again. Mm. I'm sad to say I witnessed this myself. There is no question that he loved this woman, but also no question of what his intentions were when he left Earth. His intentions? I'm so glad you brought that up. Just listen to this. You saved yourself for her. Yeah. Dare you? Well, I saved myself for Lieutenant Shane. So then we're agreed. Not partners in bed, but partners. Do you deny that you never intended to produce an heir as demanded by law? That this marriage was never consummated? That you had no intention of doing so? A sham marriage for the sole purpose of snatching the throne from the proper bridegroom? Me! <laughs> That is not true. Oh, no? Lois, I'm gonna beat this guy, no more. And then the Kryptonians can go back and they can solve their own problems. And faster than a speeding bullet, you and I are gonna get married. In a single speech, Kel Al reveals his plans to abandon the people he pledged to rule, to commit adultery and bigamy and murder a fellow noble. No, you tried to murder him. Silence, concubine. I am not a concubine. From her own lips, a confession of her subterfuge. And where is one shred of proof of this wild-eyed murder allegation? I saw the assassin Tez. As did I. And I did too. Well, there's an airtight case if ever I heard one. Oh, don't you see the railroad job going on here? All Zara and I are guilty of is trying to save our people. Because I was grateful to a planet that gave me life. And to my father, Jor-El, who saved my life. My father was honest and good. And so I imagined this great society filled with noble ideals. And I imagined that saving this society from war was worth turning my back on everything and everyone that I loved. Oh, it is a noble society, kal and you are its nightmare. A duplicitous, lying half-breed bent on seizing the throne, diluting the bloodline, and ending the culture. My lords, if you do not banish this man, there's no telling what he'll do to you and to Lady Zara. The ruling couple of New Krypton will most likely be a half-breed and his earthly slut. Your silence! 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 Silence